shabba hut. Hey! What time is it? Is it one o'clock? Is it two o'clock? Is it lunchtime? Is it breakfast? Is it time to sing? It's time to dance. Yahoo! We're playing dance. Actually, Dan the Music Man, it's time for the 40th Niagara Falls Winter Festival of Lights. President and CEO of Niagara Falls Tourism, Janice Thompson, fills us in on what visitors to the festival can expect this year. This year's Winter Festival of Lights is amazing. It's our 40th celebration, 40 wonderful years of lighting up the Niagara Parkway and areas throughout the city of Niagara Falls. It runs this year from November the 12th right through until Family Day in February 2023. And we encourage people to come, whether you walk through the festival and experience everything by strolling through the displays, or whether you choose to drive in your private vehicle in the comfort of your own car. It's just a, a wonderful way to experience winter here in Niagara Falls. The wonderful thing about the Winter Festival of Lights is there is always something new, something exciting that draws people to come and see it. Uh, this year, we have uh, from Niagara Helicopters, we have the Winter Nights and Lights Tour, an evening show, which is wonderful, an evening tour at the falls, which is spectacular. And then through Niagara City Cruises, they're offering their holiday season tour, which you can travel out towards the falls on the boat in the evening, which again is a wonderful way. And when you look to the falls, there every night we're featuring a brand new illumination on the falls to celebrate the 40th anniversary. This is a combination of beautiful lights that are reminiscent of water, of winter, of lights. And when you look at it, you'll understand the inspiration behind this beautiful, beautiful display. And then when you're back on the on land and you're, you're walking around or you're driving around through the city, we have a new a hot chocolate trail to experience. 17 different locations within the city are offering 23 amazing hot chocolate options. We have non-alcoholic, we have alcoholic, everything for the families. It's a wonderful, wonderful new addition to the Winter Festival of Lights. Enjoy. We took Janice up on our offer to enjoy by checking out a few of the establishments offering up their hot chocolate creations. Our first visit was to a place known worldwide for their chocolate, the Hershey Star in Niagara Falls. Um, for the regular, we just have it with a milk kiss. And for the um, peppermint one, we have it with a candy cane kiss. We have it all year round, but um, when it comes to Christmas time, we just do the, the peppermint one, yes. It definitely has helped us through our um, slow peak. Um, so it brings in a lot of people, which is good, and it brings a lot of other people to the, the, um, the area as well. So it, it's good. Uh, lots of people that come in. Um, it's good to see different types of people come in here. Um, it's a joy to work here at Hershey's. I really enjoy my job. And um, yeah, it's just a great place to be. We just like people to come here to Hershey's and try our peppermint hot chocolate. Um, it's fantastic, yes. Our next stop was the Niagara Distillery, located at the bottom of Clifton Hill, to find out what hot chocolate creations they were serving. Uh, so uh, the drink that we have today is basically a mint hot chocolate. Um, what we did was we just had uh, mint flavoring added to our hot chocolate. What our, um, it is an alcoholic drink and uh, we're using rum for this, which is our house made still rum. So for this one, uh, we wanted to do two different recipes for us. Um, so this is something that we thought was more palatable for the majority of the population, something that's easily recognizable, so like a mint hot chocolate. And that's really what we wanted to come up with. Um, we also came up with a second one that's, that I didn't make for you today, which is a little bit more avant-garde. It is uh, an orange hot chocolate. It's a little bit different. Um, it's more like, um, like the Christmas chocolates that people get. Um, and so that's um, what we decided to come up with. Uh, both of them use our, our craft still rum, which is really the centerpiece of everything that we're really doing for these hot chocolates, uh, which is to really showcase what we have in-house that's unique to everywhere else. So yeah, I think as I mentioned, we, we had tried a bunch of different stuff when we were when we were coming up with these. Uh, there, there was some there was some division as to uh, what everybody liked. Um, we definitely liked the mint. I think everybody was was into that. But there were other things we had uh, like different almond flavored things that we were putting in there, um, and uh, a couple of other things. But we had about five or six that we were playing around with. But this is the ones that we really that we really settled with, right? Yeah, presentation is big um, with everything, with, with what you drink and what you eat. So 
Um, we definitely wanted to make sure that the presentation was, was uh, great on this. So I think that we more or less hit the nail on the head. It's, so. it's commonplace in Niagara Falls to really slow down in the wintertime. I think everybody really is aware of that. So, you know, coming up with different ideas to try and bring people in is always a good idea. The Winter Festival of Lights as a whole is a big draw, which is fantastic. Um, so the, uh, the hot chocolate trail that we have going on right now, was, was, I was very happy to jump on board with it to try and get involved. Um, and yeah, I think, I think this so far has been a big draw in general, the Festival of Lights. And uh, I foresee that uh, the hot chocolate trail will more or less be the same. So. so between the lights and the flights, the shows where you can dance to the beat or have some tasty chocolate treats, be sure to visit the Festival of Lights in Niagara Falls. Visit www.wfol.com for all the details. In Niagara Falls, you're watching The Source.